Theodore Chassereau, a French artist of the 19th century, remains one of the most striking and enigmatic figures of his time. His works combine romantic sensibility and classical perfection, creating a unique style that still inspires artists and art historians. I am very grateful to everyone who subscribes to the channel, comments, shares videos with friends and likes them. Your activity makes a great contribution to the development of the channel and inspires me to new creative achievements. Only thanks to you we can constantly improve. My sincere respect to you from the bottom of my heart. Theodore Chassereau was born on September 20, 1819 in Santo Domingo, now the Dominican Republic. His father was French and his mother was Creole, which provided him with a multicultural upbringing. In 1821, his family moved to France, where he spent most of his childhood. At an early age, it became apparent that Chassereau had an extraordinary artistic talent. His mother, noticing this, encouraged the development of his abilities, and at the age of 11, Theodore became a student of Jean-Auguste Dominique Engr, one of the most prominent artists of the time. Engr, impressed by the young student's talent, took him under his wing and helped him develop his technical skills and classical approach to art. Studying in ENGR's studio became a defining stage in Chassirio's life and work. He quickly mastered the academic methods of drawing, honing his technique and studying the art of ancient masters. ENGR saw in him the potential of a great artist and supported him in every way possible, teaching him not only the technical aspects of art, but also aesthetic principles and philosophy. In 1834, at the age of just 15, Chassereau took part in the Paris Salon for the first time. His works, including Portrait of a Father, were admired and recognized by critics and audiences alike. This was only the beginning of his successful career, which brought him fame as one of the most talented young artists of his time. After his first successes at the Paris Salon, Chassereau continued to work and develop as an artist. He experimented with different genres and techniques, trying to find his own style. An important stage in his work was his acquaintance with the works of Eugene Delacroix, which had a significant impact on his artistic approach. In 1840, Chassereau created one of his most famous works, Venus Anadiomena. This painting, depicting the goddess of love emerging from the sea, combines classical beauty and romantic expression. It became a symbol of his creative search for harmony between form and content, between classical and romantic traditions. Theodore Chassereau's personal life was full of both joyful and tragic moments. He fell in love with a young woman named Adele, who became his muse and inspiration for many of his works. Their romance was passionate and emotional, which was reflected in his paintings, full of tenderness and sensuality. However, fate did not favor their love. Adele died of an illness, leaving Chassereau in deep grief. This loss greatly influenced his work, giving it new shades of sadness and melancholy. He continued to paint, but his works became more intense and emotionally charged. The last years of Chassereau's life were filled with both creative achievements and physical and emotional difficulties. He continued to work on major projects, such as the frescoes for the Church of saint philippe du Rule in Paris. However, his health began to deteriorate, and in 1856 he died of the effects of malaria at the age of just 37. Theodore Chassereau was an artist who managed to combine tradition and innovation, classical perfection and romantic expression in his work. His life and work have become an example of devotion to art and a constant search for beauty. Although his life was short, he left an indelible mark on the art world that continues to live on and influence new generations of artists and art lovers. The creative legacy of Theodore Chassereau remains extremely important for the history of art. His works, which combine romantic sensibility and classical perfection, have influenced many artists of subsequent generations. His paintings continue to amaze and inspire, revealing the complexity of human emotions and the beauty of the world around us.